How's it going, guys? Bradley Sutton, Helium 10. Uh, today, we're going to talk about Keyword Tracker. It's a tool by Helium 10 that's received a little bit of an update. But before we get into it, you guys need to understand why is keyword tracking even important? What is keyword tracking? Let me just give you a brief rundown. Here, I've searched for collagen peptides, okay? Now, uh, the first thing that Keyword Tracker is going to do is show you the organic rank or the organic position of where you appear in the search results for a certain keyword. So this is collagen peptides. This product here is page one, position one. So this is position one. The reason is these two are sponsored ads, as you can see. This is position two. This is position three, four, five, six, and so on and so forth. So why is this important? Well, as you can see, when you enter collagen peptides, there's tons of different pages here, hundreds of products that shows up. If you're here on page seven, like let's say that's position 300 or something like that, um, if that's where you are ranking or your position is for this keyword of collagen peptides, you better believe that you're probably getting zero sales from this keyword. All right. Why? Because most people, as you know, you yourself, when you search for something, you search for collagen peptides, you're probably going to pick something here on the first page, maybe even towards the top of the first page, because you just don't have the patience to go there. All right. So that's the first thing that uh, Keyword Tracker is checking your organic position if it's in the top 306 positions. The second thing, and this is a little bit new, what we're also tracking is the position that we have detected you in sponsored ads. Sponsored ads uh, such as these two right here. This is position one. This is position two. Let me see where uh, the next one might be. Hold on here. Sponsored ads. All right, yep. here's position position three. Here is position four, so on and so forth. Uh, why uh, were some of our um, users wanting us to track that? Well, uh, their reasoning is, which is you know sound logic, that to get here on the first page or the very top of the results in sponsored ads, that the owner or the listing. Um, owner is probably paying extra money or they're really focusing on that keyword in their PPC campaign. So if it's really important to them, uh, it's important to us. At the same time, the ones that are showing up earlier, those are the ones that's most likely are uh, have the best chance at getting the sale. If you're the 50th sponsored ad that shows up, you know, on page four or something, again, you're probably not getting sales from being at that position. All right. So those are the two things. And it's very important. I hope you can see that once you start using this, you really need to keep tracking these things uh, so that you can know uh, the, the chances you have of getting sales. All right. So now let's get in, into Keyword Tracker. First of all, how do you start using Keyword Tracker? If it's your first time, you first need to click on your little icon up here and hit your name. And then from there, you're going to connect the token. All right. So if you have that done already, you're good to go. But if you're, this is your first time using it, you'll probably need to connect your Amazon token from your Seller Central account to Helium 10. And there are detailed instructions on how to do that on that page. Once you've done that, now you can add any product from your um, Seller Central account into Keyword Tracker. So I'm going to hit add new product. This account is from this company called Forest Heal. So I'm going to choose this iGel, which I was not tracking yet and I'm going to paste it right here. Now, this is not a variation item. If it was a variation, it, it would give me um, a, a note on here telling me a couple other things. I'm gonna make a separate video about that, so don't worry. So this is not a, a variation item. So right here, I'm gonna put, um, you, what would you put right here? Well, I would normally put the keywords that I, um, determined from my product research using Cerebro and Magnet, the keywords that give me the best chance to get to, uh, that give me the best chance to get on sales if I was on page one. So the most buyer relevant keywords. So let's just say uh, it's iGel is one. Um, how about uh, iGel cream? Let's see if that's a word. How about anti wrinkle moisturizer? All right, so let's just say those were some of the keywords. You can enter um, a lot more keywords, of course. All right, so uh, I'm going to hit start tracking and it's going to appear in about an hour. It would appear right here. So let's look at some of the ones that I have already had entered and been tracking for a while. For example, here is an organic maple syrup product. Uh, before I get started, let's take a look at some of these uh, top level information right here. Here you have keywords. This is the number of keywords in the top 10. So I have two keywords here I'm tracking that I'm in the top 10 for. And in this one, I have 10 keywords that I'm in the top 54. Uh, search volume. These are the total search volume for the keywords in the top 10. This is kind of cool. You know, yeah, I might say, hey, look, I'm, I'm in the top 10, a lot of keywords, but the total search volume of that is only a thousand. So it's like, eh, maybe I'm not doing that great. Uh, and this is the total search volume of the words that I have in the top 50. Um, here we have over here the sponsored results. So I've got seven words 
uh, that are that we have detected that are showing up in the top 10 uh, sponsored positions and I have 10 more that are in the top 50 all right I click on this and it's going to show me uh, oh by the way guys these are USA I can uh, track keywords in all of uh, you know North American market I can do it in all the European market and uh, India as well all right so let's take a look here uh, for example organic maple syrup grade B first of all you'll notice that I have a, a little red rocket ship here Make sure to check the other video in the video series so you can see what that is. That means that basically is a way so that you can, for 10 days, track this every hour because the default that Keyword Tracker is going out and checking is once every 24 hours. This, when you have the boost on, which you have a limited number of boosts, you can boost it so you can check it once an hour if you so choose. Uh, there's also things here that says notes and stars. I have separate videos on that that you guys can uh, take a look at. Right, uh, search volume. This is the estimated search volume, 322 for this keyword, and this is the number of competing products that we've detected uh, for this keyword. Uh, the graph. This is showing my graph of my organic rank. So I can see here the default is 30 days. I can go 90 days, or from the beginning of time when I first started tracking this. You can see here on this date, March 13th, I was at position 10, and here on March or April 3rd, it was down to position. Uh, what is this position 23 all right uh, as far as a detailed video on how to zoom in on different dates there's another video right here in this pro training series about that so make sure to check that out okay um, here organic rank 15 okay so that means that the last time we checked if you're curious when the last time we checked was you just mouse over here and it shows you hey this position was checked uh, April 6th uh, at 1633 all right so there you go so you know exactly when we detected it all right um the other thing is a sponsor position same thing the last time we checked this was at position well it had the first one so if i want to actually see this keyword in action uh, i'm just going to click this a button right here it's going to take me to the amazon search for organic maple syrup grade b and you can see just in case it's changed in this case look it's still right there um the organically ranked at position one, not organically sponsored rank uh, position one so this remember this can change at any time though but in this instance it, it ha happens to be the same and now we can count we say it's around 15 so we can say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and there it is position 15 remember different browsing scenarios you might see different things there's another video that talks about you know if if he, if uh, helium 10 says you're at one rank but you see on your computer another rank that's a very common thing because different browsing scenarios different browsers will show different ranks but in this case it's exactly the same this is position 15. uh you'll notice there are some other updates we have made to keyword tracker if you're brand new there's other features here uh for example like we were asking what are these asins right here there's going to be another video that you can check in this series where you can get uh, that information. So again, guys, this is a great way uh, in order to track your keywords and your chances of getting sales. Because again, if you're not on page one, maybe page two, the chances of you getting sales for that keyword are very low. So this is important that you can track it so that the methods that you're using to get to page one, whether it's the CPR method, whether it's PPC, whether it's outside traffic, whatever you're using to get more sales, you're going to be able to see how that is working or not working depending on your graph of going up or down. So again, make sure for all of your products, you guys are tracking your keywords, the most important keywords, and don't just set it and then forget about it. This is something you should be checking on a weekly, if not daily basis. Um, you or one of your assistants need to be tracking this. So again, guys, keyword tracker, tons more videos that talk about how to use keyword tracker. Make sure to check those out below. If you're in the learn button or if you're on the pro training, uh, check it out there or if on YouTube, just uh, check these out in YouTube as well. Thanks a lot, guys. Yeah.